Good afternoon. Uh, today, uh, my presentation is about the, an experiment comparison of the graph-based uh, semi-supervised learning for the multispectral image classification. Uh, first, I will give uh, the problems of the supervised learning. Then uh, I will talk about the semi-supervised learning. Uh, then I will present the graph-based uh, semi-supervised learning algorithms. Uh, then at last, I will uh, give the experimental comparison and the conclusions of our work. Uh, first, about the problems of the supervised learning. Uh, we know uh, in the remote sensing field, uh, high quality labeled samples are, of, uh, are often difficult to, to obtain. And also, uh, the training inst instance are not uh, uniformly sampled. Uh, so this is an, uh, just uh, an example. The red one and the, uh, the green one is the uh, labeled example. Uh, other are unlabeled examples. Uh, so uh, this is another uh, example. So uh, based on uh, this data, we can see uh, this is the classification by the SVM. So uh, we, we can see that this is not the correct uh, classification. Uh, uh, this is the another uh, example about the supervised learning results. And here we can see the, uh, another uh, supervised learning result. And here is the classification based on the SVM. And uh, this is also the, not the correct uh, learning result. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, now I will talk about the uh, semi-supervised learning. Uh, semi-supervised learning has catch uh, more and more attention uh, and developed rapidly. Uh, the result of the searching semi-supervised uh, learning is, uh, this is the, uh, in Google Scholar, we can see that uh, uh, here, the paper related to the semi-supervised learning uh, increased uh, quickly. And also, uh, the paper titled with the semi-supervised uh, learning also increased uh, very quickly. Uh, so we can see that semi-supervised learning is a very hot topic. And the, the category of the semi-supervised learning algorithms are uh, included in these uh, categories. Uh, first is the uh, probabilistic uh, generative model and the semi-supervised uh, support vector machine and also graph-based uh, model and the code training. Uh, and we are working on the graph-based model. The advantage of the graph-based model uh, semi-supervised learning uh, is first is the mathematic. Uh, it has a, a very strong uh, mathematic uh, background and also compact uh, algebra uh, linear for, uh, formulas, forms, and also good result in computational uh, biology. Uh, uh, and the web mining and also te uh, text categories, etc. So it has uh, already uh, successfully uh, applied it. Uh, this is the uh, basic concept about the uh, graph based uh, learning, uh, graph based model. Here we can see the, the definition about the graph and the uh, 
at JSRA network, uh, degree matrix, and uh, uh, lambda matrix. And here is the properties of the graph-based models. And here is about the graph construction. Here is the uh, uh, steps and the how to uh, construct the graph and also the edge type. Uh, so here is about the graph uh, construction. And the semi-supervised learning, uh, the motiva motivation is first is to learn and the function f in a graph uh, meeting the two uh, constraints. One is the uh, smoothness, second is consistency. Uh, and this is the final objective functions. Uh, and to solve these problems, here uh, we can see that it is an uh, Quantitative uh, optimization with the solutions. So here uh, is the uh, the optimization solutions of these uh, graph models. And the we know that the, uh, this uh, original uh, the graph model is uh, complexity have the complexity uh, problems. Uh, so we, we try to, we know that uh, the matrix invert time and the space connecting with the, the number of the uh, examples. And it is unstable uh, for the large uh, protuberance. So is there any efficient algorithm for the uh, graph-based model? And here is our uh, some efficient implement for the graph based models uh, three uh, we know uh, says all in the literary uh, three in the uh, literary and the one is developed by us so we can see as here is some efficient implementations of the graph model and this is the uh, other uh, uh, researchers, they have already published the papers. And here is the new uh, models developed by us. Ah. So we can see the, for the first one, it convert the inversion to the multiplications. And for the second is the reduced the left gain by example and approximations. And the third uh, model is to reduce the left gain by the clustering and the neighborhood uh, uh, regularization. And, and, and our, our algorithm is to reduce the left gain Taylor expressions and also the approximations. Here is the detail about our algorithms. Here is the, uh, the detailed steps about our algorithms. And uh, here is the another, the, the, uh, sorry. This, this is the detail about the algorithm one, uh, GLC, GLC. And this is the, uh, the, the step of the algorithm two, NML. Uh, this is the step one and step two, and also step three and step four. Uh. And this is the step five and uh, step six for the, these models. And this is the algorithm for the, the third algorithm, AGR. Uh. Here we can see also the, uh, the main steps of these algorithms. And this is the, uh, the algorithm four. This is the new algorithm developed by uh, us. So here 
the general idea of our algorithm is using the uh, multi-variable Taylor series expression uh, to simpli simplify the Lepkin matrix. And we first note here, this is the, uh, here we, we transfer, uh, we're using the multi-variable Taylor uh, series expression to simplify the Lepkin matrix. And here is the uh, record of the multiple uh, Taylor expressions. So here we can see the, the, the mathematic detail of our algorithms. And now I will give the experimental uh, comparison results. Here is the uh, real data set uh, about, uh, from the remote sensing uh, image. Uh, and here is the true color and the uh, uh, pursued color image. And here uh, is the classification uh, based on the, uh, here, the different models, the existing different models. For example, this is the SVM models, su support vector machine. And this is the uh, result based on the uh, GLC, the semi-supervised learning algorithms, and the NMA. And uh, this is the uh, classification result by the semi-supervised algorithm AGR. And here is the, uh, this one is the, our, uh, the result of our algorithms, uh, TSE, uh, based on the semi-supervised learning. And here is the uh, statistic uh, comparison of the uh, overall accuracy and the time cost. And we can see that uh, our algorithm is better, has a better result than the uh, uh, su supervised learning algorithm and also the other uh, semi-supervised learning algorithms. Now I give the conclusions of our uh, work. We give an, uh, uh, a few labeled example and semi-supervised learning generally performs much better than the supervised learning like the SVM. And also the semi-supervised learning algorithms uh, is more robust to the noises. So this is the uh, present of our uh, research work. Thank you for your extension.